Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. This isn't your typical video at all, but hopefully you guys can learn something from my experiences over the past two days. As you can see in the title there, there, whatever it is, I got hacked. My main Google account, my YouTube account, and a bunch of my other accounts actually were fully hacked by some dude hanging out in Belarus. I'm making this video right now to be transparent with you guys, as well as to hopefully teach some lessons that I learned over the past two days here. All throughout yesterday, I did not have control to my YouTube channel. There was a video uploaded, but that's because it was scheduled. And after seeing what I'm seeing in my now recovered Gmail account, if I didn't get control of my YouTube channel soon, it was going to be permanently deleted or sold to someone else. Very, very, very scary situation, and I'm currently on like four hours of sleep, both due to just the stress of the situation, but also I didn't want to miss a potential notification saying, hey, you know, you're getting hacked again. I'm going to make it short but sweet. What can we learn from this? The entire reason I even got hacked in the first place was due to a virus that was embedded within a sponsorship campaign, which ended up being fake. And despite all the red flags that were popping up in my head about it, I chose to ignore them because of how good of a deal it was. That combined with just general impatience made me a perfect target for the attack. Basically how it all happened was I was approached in my DMs about a potential sponsorship from Airbnb, which I now know was fake. But when I went to go download the link for all the information and the agreements that you have to do for that sort of thing, it was a fake file that ended up infecting my whole PC. The second thing we can all learn from this is to have proper two-factor authentication on all of our accounts that are important. Up until this point, I've been pretty naive. I've had base level authentication, right? Your phone number, right? If someone tries to log in, sends me a notification, your backup email, all that sort of thing. And it works, but when a hacker ends up getting access to your account, they can just switch that to their stuff. If an account is really, really important to you, you should try to find as many ways to secure it as possible, just so that in case they have access to it, you can get it back a lot easier. Most of my time was spent trying to get through to Google support, and because I had all my information changed, it was almost impossible to prove that I was the actual owner. This all definitely could have been made easier if I had a proper security key, as well as downloaded a bunch of my backup codes. The third thing we can all learn from this is, Who's that? In all seriousness, I hope to get back to making normal videos here within the next day or two, but due to the severity of it all and trying to make sure it's all secured, it might take me a day or two before I can get another video out. In the meantime, I do plan on going live on my Twitch, so if you want to watch me, I'll be there at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Take care, everybody, and be safe.